بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله وسلم عليه وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد so inshallah we'll continue from where we left off and we finish the previous uh, nullifier of Islam and now we arrive to the third one as the Shaykh continues his explanation of the book, The Nullifiers of Islam. So the Shaykh continues, he says, قَالَ شَيْخُ الْإِسْلَامِ مُحَمَّدِ بْنُ عَبْدُ الْوَحَابِ رَحْمُهُ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى وَغَفَرَ لَهُ وَلِشَارِحْ أَثَالِثُ مَنْ لَمْ يُكَفِّرْ الْمُشْرِكِينَ أَوْ شَكَّ فِي كُفْرِهِمْ أَوْ صَحَّحَ مَذْهَبَهُمْ كَفَرْ So the Shaykh says that, he says that Shaykh al-Islam, Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab, may Allah have mercy upon him and may, may, may Allah forgive him and the explainer of this book, i.e. the other Shaykh who is explaining it, Shaykh Abdul Razak al-Badr, he says third, the third principle, or the, uh, the third nullifier, sorry, the third nullifier of al-Islam. Whoever does not excommunicate a polytheist or if one doubts in uh, a polytheist's um, a disbelief or one who corrects and permits uh, the uh, their belief or their religion, as in the ones who are upon disbelief. So the Sheikh Bashar Mushrikin, you'll go into more detail about different categories. Uh, but it, this is just mentioned here as in the polytheist. So whoever basically um, says that a polytheist is not a disbeliever or he has doubt in their disbelief or he actually upholds their belief and says, no, it's not disbelief. Actually, it's it's fine like that. So the Sheikh continues. He says, هذا هو الناقض الثالث من نواقض الإسلام مما ذكره شيخ الإسلام محمد بن عبد الوهاب رحمه الله تعالى قال أثالث من لم يكفر المشركين أو يشك أو يشك في كفرهم أو صحها مذهبهم كفر هذه أمور إن وجدت في الإنسان كان كافرا بسبب وجودها فيه وهي أن لا يكفر المشركين أي لا يعتقد كفرهم أو لا يقول بكفرهم أو لا يحكم بكفرهم مع حكم الله سبحانه وتعالى بكفرهم وحكم رسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم بذلك فمن قال لا أكفرهم أو لا أحكم بكفرهم أو لا أعتقد كفرهم أو لا أقول بكفرهم أو هم ليسوا عندي كفارا مع أن الله عز وجل كفرهم والرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم كفرهم فإنه كافر كمن يقول مثلا لا أعتقد كفر النصارى مع أن الله عز وجل قال لقد, لقد كفر الذين قالوا إن الله ثالث ثلاثة أو قال لا أعتقد كفر اليهود مع أن الله سبحانه وتعالى حكم بكفرهم في مواضع في مواضع من من كتابه أو قال لا أعتقد كفر المشركين الذين يعبدون غير الله سبحانه وتعالى ويتخذون الأنداد والشركاء من قال لا أعتقد كفرهم فإنه يكفر بذلك أو قال لا أعتقد كفر المجوس أو كفر الملاحدة أو كفر المنافقين أو غيرهم ممن جاء القرآن بيان بيان كفرهم وجاء في في سنة كذلك بيان بيان كفرهم. So in then in this paragraph the Sheikh he says he says that these affairs if these affairs that we mentioned just before starting starting uh, or just at the start of the lesson if any of these affairs are found uh, in a person then he is a disbeliever because of it being present within him or him believing in these things 
and he says, and it is that that the the person, the Muslim, for example, or the person does not uh, excommunicate a polytheist, or he doesn't believe uh, that 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 uh, the polytheist, for example, is uh, a disbeliever or upon disbelief, or he doesn't say that you know that they believe uh, that they disbelieve. Or he doesn't uh, rule by that and says that they're upon kufr. For example, and doesn't rule by the rule. For example, doesn't uh, um, uh, put himself in line with what Allah has ruled upon the disbelievers, subhanahu wa taala. And likewise, what the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has said with regards to the disbelievers. So the Sheikh says, so whoever says, for example, uh, I'm not going to excommunicate them, or uh, I don't pass that judgment that they are they are disbelievers, or I don't believe in their in, in, in that that they that they that they are upon disbelief, or I'm not going to say that they are disbelievers, for example, upon disbelief, or or say something like, for example, like the, the likes of, um, uh, they are not uh, upon kufr, in my opinion, for example, like that. Uh, having you know people saying of saying these things. Even after knowing that Allah Azza wa Jal has uh, excommunicated them from the Deen of Al Islam and rendered them disbelievers, and likewise the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has done the same. So whoever falls into this, then he himself has left the fold of Al Islam and is a disbeliever. Like the one who says, for example, I don't believe the disbelief of the Christians that they're upon disbelief. Uh, uh, and knowing that Allah Azza wa Jal said in his book, he said, لَقَدْ كَفْرَ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا إِنَّ اللَّهَ ثَالِثُ ثَلَاثَةً That the people who say, who believe in the Trinity, that Allah is part of a Trinity, ثَالِثُ ثَلَاثَةً That they have disbelieved. So when Allah said it, and then the person is going against the ruling of uh, what Allah has ruled for those those people who fall into that category, then because of this, uh, he falls into kufr. Uh, likewise, for example, if somebody, if if someone said, for example, I don't believe in the disbelief of uh, the Jews, knowing that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has actually uh, uh, ruled upon them that they are upon disbelief in different places within the Quran, as we know, or saying that the polytheists are not upon kufr, or I don't believe that the polytheists are actually upon disbelief. Uh, and, and as we know, the polytheists are those who uh, believe uh, worship other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they take rivals alongside and partners alongside Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in worship. So who, as the Sheikh says, who say, whoever says, I don't believe in their disbelief, for, for verily he is a disbeliever by way of that. Or, or if he says, I don't believe that the the uh, the fire worships the uh, the fire the majans the majus the fire worshippers um uh, or the uh, atheists or the uh, hypocrites if he says you know about them as well that they're not upon disbelief then by as when the quran has clarified this matter about their disbelief then he is a disbeliever because of that and by and by opposing the word of allah jalla and by opposing the Sunnah of our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So we continue, the Shaykh continues, he says, فَمَنْ لَمْ يَأْتَقِدْ كُفْرَ مَنْ كَفَّرَهُ اللَّهُ أو, أو uh, كُفْرَ مَنْ كَفَّرَهُ رَسُولُهُ صَلَوَاتُ اللَّهُ صَلَوَاتُ اللَّهِ وَسَلَامُهُ عَلَيْهِ فَإِنَّهُ كَافِرٌ بِاللَّهِ الْعَذِيمِ <coughs> لِأَنَّهُ رَادٌ لِكِتَابِ اللَّهِ عز وجل وَرَادٌ لِسُنَّةِ النَّبِيِّهِ عَلَيْهِ السَّلَاةُ وَالسَّلَامُ وَمُعَارِضٌ لِحُكْمِ اللَّهِ وَحُكْمِ رَسُولِهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمُ وَغَيْرَ مُحَقِّقٍ شَرْطَ التَّوْهِيدُ وَالْإِيمَانُ أو أساس التوحيد والإيمان وشرط قبوله وهو أن يكفر بما يعبد من دون الله جل وعلا ويبرأ من أهل الكفر وإذا لم يعتقد كفرهم كيف تكون البراءة من الكافرين وكيف يبغضهم وكيف يحقق أحكام الشرع المطلوب تحقيقها بين المسلم والكافر وهي 
أحكام كثيرة جاء بيانها في الكتاب والسنة فكيف تطبق إذا لم يأتقد كفرهم أو لم يؤمن بكفرهم So then the Sheikh he goes on to say So whoever doesn't believe in their disbelief and who, uh, whoever doesn't believe that their disbelievers after Allah and his messenger have informed us about their disbelief then this person's upon disbelief himself why because he is in opposition to uh, has rejected the the book of Allah azza wa jal and has rejected the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu uh, alaihi wasallam and the Sheikh carries on He says And this pers- person is in opposition To the uh, uh, The legislation that Allah has sent down And that would uh, To the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam That the person is in opposition to this And he's not actualizing his Tawheed That he's not upon Tawheed by way of this And he's not fulfilling the conditions With regards to his Tawheed and his Iman And therefore Because him because he's dropped some of the conditions with regards to his Tawheed and Iman, then he is not upon the Tawheed of Allah, nor is he upon Iman. So for that reason, he's a kafir and he's not accepted. And and also with regards to those conditions, then it's a person who, uh, uh, you know, the, the people that we're talking about in terms of disbelief, they are the ones, you know, who they worship other than Allah Jalla wa Ala and they uh, free themselves from uh, from uh, the people of Kufr um, uh, and they don't believe, for example, in their, in their, in their disbelief. So then how can they be free from, their, uh, uh, from the disbelievers? So if they're saying we're free from disbelievers, but then uh, just to clarify, if they, say, if they say that we're free from these disbelievers, but then they don't actually believe that they're upon disbelief in actual fact, then how can they free themselves of those of the disbelievers of the ones who do not believe in Islam and be upon uh, upon the Tawheed of Allah? And how can you dislike them for what for what they are upon of shirk and other misguidance? And how can how can that person then actualize uh, the Sharia? And what Allah has made uh, uh, obligatory upon him, you know, to actualize. And how can he do that, you know, and how can he live and execute those commands Allah has given him, for example, between the Muslims and, non- and, and, and the disbelievers. And the Sheikh says that there's many rulings that, uh, that, uh, that you know, the, clarific- the clarification of many rulings have come within the Kitab and the Sunnah and the Book and the Sunnah of the Prophet. So how can, the per- how can that person then? Being in that situation, uh, you know, uh, apply those rulings if he does not believe in in their disbelief, or do, or doesn't believe that uh, that they're actually upon disbelief, or that they are disbelievers. So then the Sheikh continues. He says, "Walihada fa inna ta fa inna ta al-hukm wa adam al-iman bihi ala wa huwa kufru al-kafir wa huwa kufru al-kafir." يترتب عليه تعطيل أحكام شرعية كثيرة جدا يكون الحكم يكون الحكم عليها بالإلغاء وتعطيل وعدم إعمالها كقوله صلوات الله وسلام عليه على سبيل المثال لا يرث المسلم الكافر إذا كان لا يحكم بكفره كيف يطبق يطبق الحكم وكون الكافر لا يغسل ولا يصلى عليه ولا يدفن في مقابر المسلمين كيف يطبق هذا الحكم وهو لم يعتقد كفره قوله عليه الصلاة والسلام إذا لقيتم اليهود والنصارى فلا تبتدوا فلا تب تبدعوهم بالسلام إلى غير ذلك من الأحاديث التي تتعلق بحال المسلم مع الكافر فإذا كان لا يعتقد كفر الكافر كيف تطبق هذه الأحكام الشرعية التي دل عليها كتاب الله وسنة وسنة نبيه صلاة صلوات الله وسلامه عليه. So then the Sheikh goes on to say 
he says, and for this reason, then, uh, then you know, going against these rulings, legislation that Allah has sent down by way of the Prophet Sallallahu then it, you know, it, it results in a, a lack of iman, a complete lack of it, uh, and and that is, uh, and that is related to a kufr kafir. And related to the the kufr of a, of a disbeliever, that the the disbelief of a disbeliever, and then that uh, is linked to uh, that re- uh, then results in let's say results in uh, nullifying or rendering useless, uh, or that person becomes it renders himself useless in terms of applying the rulings and the and the commandments of Allah, that Allah sent, and there's many that. Uh, that this will happen in terms of what, what will happen with in terms of the uh, rulings uh, and the legislation that Allah has sent down. Uh, so it'll end up with the cancellation and not actually carrying out these. And the Sheikh gives examples. For example, the Sheikh says, uh, where uh, where the Prophet Sallallahu said, La yarifu al-Muslimu al-Kafir, that a Muslim does not inherit from a disbeliever. The Sheikh says, and how can the person apply this this knowledge and these rulings, if he's upon the way, uh, upon the incorrect way of of not believing that uh, al kafir is a, upon disbelief uh, or disbelievers upon disbelief, he won't be able to apply these rulings that's upon him to apply. And every Muslims upon every Muslim to apply these rulings when they're appropriate, obviously. Uh, uh, for example, the Sheikh gives some more examples for us. He says, for example, the n- nature of a disbeliever that uh, when he dies. Uh, his body is not washed. Uh, the janaza prayer, the funeral prayer is not prayed upon him, and he is not uh, wrapped up in in, in cloth as, as as a Muslim is before he's buried. And and a further example that the Sheikh brings uh, is also with regards to uh, you know that that the non believe the disbelievers are not to be buried in the say in the in the graveyard of the Muslims. The Sheikh says, how can this be applied then in the situation when the person doesn't believe that a disbeliever is actually upon disbelief? The Sheikh goes on to say, also brings another hadith to us uh, for our reference. He says, uh, in this hadith, he says, where the Prophet said, if you meet a Jew or a Christian, then don't begin with giving them salam. And the Sheikh continues, he says, and then he says there's other ahadith as well and evidences with regards to this uh, subject that he's talking about uh, in this lesson and that he says that are related to uh, this condition of a Muslim uh, when dealing with a disbeliever. So the Sheikh says if the person then doesn't believe in the disbelief of the disbeliever then how can he apply any of these rulings from the Sharia, uh, Sharia the uh, Islamic legislation that the that the Quran and the Sunnah demonstrates and shows us how can you apply any of it. So then the Shaykh continues, says, فَمِنْ أُمُورِ الْإِسْلَامِ الْعَذِيمَةِ أَنْ يَأْتَكِدِ الْمُسْلِمِ كُفْرَ مَنْ كَفَرَهُ اللَّهِ وَكُفْرَ مَنْ كَفَرَهُ رَسُولُهُ عَلَيْهِ السَّلَاةُ وَالسَّلَامِ بَلِ الْوَاجِبُ أَنْ نَأْتَكِدَ فِي هَذَا الْبَابِ فِي هَذَا الْبَابِ أَنَّ الْحُكْمَ بِالْكُفْرِ لَيْسَ لِأَحَدٍ إِلَّا لِلَّهِ جَلَ وَعَلَى وَلِرَسُولِهِ عَلَيْهِ السَّلَاةُ وَالسَّلَامِ الْمُبَلِّ الْمُبَلِّغَ عَنِ اللَّهِ عَزَّ وَجَلْ فَلَيْسَ لِأَحَدٍ أَنْ يَحْكُمَ عَلَى أَحَدٍ بِكُفْرِ أَوْ شِرْكٍ أَوْ نِفَاقٍ أَوْ غَيْرِ ذَلِكَ إِلَّا بِنَاءٍ وَاسْتِنَادٍ عَلَى حُكْمِ اللَّهِ وَحُكْمَ رَسُولِهِ صَلَوَاتُ اللَّهِ وَسَلَامُهُ عَلَيْهِ فَالْأَمْرُ لِلَّهِ عَزَّ وَجَلْ وَالْحُكْمُ حُكْمُ اللَّهِ جَلَّ وَعَلَى وَمَنْ كَفَرَهُ اللَّهُ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى وَبَيِّنَا كُفْرَهُ عَزَّ وَجَلْ فِي كِتَابِهِ فَهُوَ كَافِرٌ يَجِبُ أَنْ يُؤْتَكَدَ كُفْرَهُ وَأَنْ يُقَالَ بِكُفْرِهِ فَإِذَا قَالَ قَائِلْ أَنَّصَارَ كُفَّارَ أَوْ الْيَهُودُ كُفَّارَ أَوْ الْمَجُوسُ كُفَّارَ أَوْ الْمُنَافِقِينَ كُفَّارَ هَذَا لَيْسَ حُكْمًا جَاءَ بِهِ مِنْ عِنْدِ نَفْسِهِ وَإِنَّمَا حُكْمٌ قَرَأَهُ في كتاب الله وقرأه في سنة رسوله عليه الصلاة والسلام واعتقاد واعتقاد واعتقد وآمن بما جاء في كتاب الله عز وجل وسنة النبي صلوات الله وسلامه عليه بل هذا واجب 
من واجبات الدين وأساس في الإيمان لا يتحقق إلا به ولا يكون مستمسكا بلا إله إلا الله ولا من أهلها إلا بالإيمان به بكفر الكافر ولهذا قال الله سبحانه وتعالى في الآية التي تلي آية الكرسي قال فمن يكفر بالطاغوت ويؤمن بالله فقد استمسك بالأربة الوثقة لم فصام لها والله سميع عليم قال فمن يكفر بالطاغوت ويؤمن بالله فقد استمسك بالأربة الوثقة أي بلا إله إلا الله فلا يكون العبد من أهل لا إله إلا الله المستمسكين بالأربة الوثقة التي لم فصام لها إلا إذا أتى بهذين الركنين وحق هذين الأساسين الكفر بالتاغوت والإيمان بالله سبحانه وتعالى والكفر بالتاغوت هو براءة من كل ما يؤبد من دون الله يز وجل والبراءة من أهله ومعاداتهم وبغضهم في الله سبحانه وتعالى قد قال عليه الصلاة والسلام أوثق أور الإيمان الحب في الله والبغض في الله وقال من أحب لله وأبغض لله وعطى لله ومنع لله so let's just hold on and go through this paragraph. Then the Sheikh he says, so from the affairs of Islam, the great affairs of Islam, is that the Muslim believes, believes in, believes in the disbelief of the one that Allah has made a disbeliever. That whoever Allah and the Prophet Sallallahu have made a disbeliever, that that you also believe, that we also believe, that that person or that group, whoever they are, they're a disbeliever. Uh, the Sheikh says, rather, it's obligatory that we believe in in that. And that the hukum, the ruling, uh, the ruling of kufr, it is, and that we also believe that the ruling of kufr, of, of disbelief, is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only and His Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam only, who brought, who uh, who brought us the message Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam So the Sheikh says It's not for anybody else To just go there and take it Just take it upon themselves And uh, come up with their own rulings It has to be what Allah Jalla wa Ala said And what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said and, and, and if he follows that way Then that's the correct way That he shouldn't come with anything from his own self That he's concocted himself So the Sheikh says the affair is, for, is Allah's Azawajal. And the and the legislation, the law is is Allah's Jalla So whoever Allah has been a disbeliever, and whoever the Prophet has been a disbeliever, then that's what the Muslim should be following and agreeing with. And that is obligatory for us to believe that they are upon disbelief after Allah has clarified and the Prophet has clarified to us that they are disbelievers. So the Sheikh says, if a person said. Oh, uh, the Christians are disbelievers And the Jews are disbelievers And the fire worshippers, Majus are disbelievers And the Munafiqeen, the hypocrites are disbelievers Then this isn't a ruling that the person has come with new In fact, his ruling is based on what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said And the Prophet has said uh, and, 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 and that he believes And, and, he, is, uh, uh, and he, has, he has belief and iman In that which came in the book of Allah Azza wa Jal and the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And the Shaykh says that this is obligatory from the obligations of our deen and the foundations of our uh, uh, Iman and that by way of this we actualize our Iman and our deen. And that you don't, that and the one who doesn't then is not able to, <coughs> is not a person who is upon La ilaha illallah. Yeah? La ilaha illallah As explained previously The meaning of that That there is none worthy of worship In truth except Allah Jalla And he's not from From its people Except with Iman So you have to have Iman And you, you have to have Iman And you In what Allah said And what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said And this is The Shaykh says This is why This is why Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala After uh, after the ayah that comes after ayat al-Kursi said, and if you look at the translation of the ayah that we read in Arabic a, few, um, a couple of minutes ago, we shall see, inshallah, what was meant here. So this is from Surah Al-Baqarah, verse 2, 2, 
225, it's not 65, 256 actually, one second, let's see. Yeah, 256. And I'll leave the part where, where the Sheikh has quoted, whoever disbelieves in Tawut and believes in Allah, then he has grasped the most trustworthy handhold, and that will never break. And Allah is all 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 here, all Noah. And then the Sheikh explains this ayah to us in a bit more detail. He says that i.e., what does this mean? I.e., it's referring to La ilaha illallah. And he says that uh, the servant of Allah, the slave of Allah, is not from the people of La ilaha illallah, and is not upon uh, one, he's not from those people who have the most uh, firm and trustworthy handhold, as mentioned in the ayah, uh, except uh, by these two pillars and these two foundations. And that is by disbelieving the Tawud and having Iman and believing in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the Shaykh says, what is the kufr What is disbelief, uh, uh, having disbelief of the Tawud? What is the Tawud? This is explained in the previous book. Uh, but uh, the Sheikh explains it here as well. He says it is freeing you, freeing oneself from everything that is worshipped beside Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's what ta'ud is. Uh, and, and also uh, being free, freeing, freeing oneself from, uh, 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 you know, the, uh, uh, the, the disbelievers and what they are upon. And, and, and hating them for the sake of Allah because of the disbelief that they are upon. Not a personal hate, but a hate because of the belief, the, the misguidance that they are upon. And the Prophet ﷺ also said that the uh, the most, uh, um, if we uh, look at here, author called Oral Iman al Hub, in Iman, if you look at what that, the translation, rough translation of that is, then we can see that that's also referring to uh, Iman, that uh, the belief that how do you know? Is uh, the strongest or the firm handhold is having uh, the strongest or the strongest firm firm and handhold uh, that you have? Uh, also referring to the say, this ayah is going off this ayah that uh, of iman is related to having love for the sake of Allah and hating for the sake of Allah. This is uh, uh, a distinguisher here, and also another hadith uh, which is mentioned here that whoever uh, loves. Uh, Whoever has love for Allah and, and he, hates, he loves for the sake of Allah and hates for the sake of Allah then, uh, and he gives for the sake of Allah and he prevents for the sake of Allah then he has completed he has completed and perfected his Iman his belief. So then the Shaykh continues I just want to check the time Okay, we have about 15 minutes inshallah before Maghrib here in the UK so we'll continue <clears throat> The Shaykh he continues says Allah uh, um, uh, وَقَدْ جَعَلَ لَنَا رَبُّنَا أَزَّ وَجَلْ الْأُسْوَى فِي هَذَا الْبَابِ وَالْقُدْوَى إِمَامُ الْحُنَفَاءِ خَلِيلُ الرَّحْمَانِ عَلَيْهِ السَّلَاةُ وَالسَّلَامِ قال, قال الله تعالى قَدْ كَانَتْ لَكُمْ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنَةٌ فِي إِبْرَاهِيمَ وَالَّذِينَ مَعْهُ إِذْ قَالُوا لقومه إن براء منكم ومما تعبدون من دون الله كفرنا بكم وبدا بيننا وبينكم العداوة والبغضاء أبدا حتى تؤمنوا بالله وحده. That's from Surah Al-Mumtahina verse 4. So if we go there and have a look, inshallah, we can see the meaning of this ayah as well. Surah Al-Mumtahina verse, uh, verse 4. Verse 4 Indeed there has been an excellent example for you in Ibrahim, Abraham and those with him When they said to their people, verily we are free from you and whatever you worship besides Allah We have rejected you and there has started between us and you hostility and hatred forever Until you believe in Allah alone So that's the part that the Sheikh mentioned That's clear with this topic that the Sheikh has been explaining to us So Sheikh continues كافر ويعاديه وهو لا يعتقد كفره ولهذا فإن مما ينتقد به الإسلام المرء عدم اعتقاده كفر كفر الكافر أو عدم إيمانه بكفر من كفره الله سبحانه وتعالى. So then the Sheikh summarizes here all that he's been explaining to us so far that he says um, that how can 
you uh, you know love for the sake of Allah and and hate for the sake of Allah and, and uh, have this hostility uh, in in terms of the belief to the disbelievers because of what they're upon. If the person doesn't believe in the dis that the disbelievers upon disbelief in the first place. So the Shaykh says, for this reason, uh, uh, then he says that because of this, if the person doesn't believe in the disbelief of the disbeliever, that the disbelievers upon disbelief, then by way of this, he has nullified his Islam. And, you know, he's, he's no longer upon Islam because of this, his beliefs and he's no longer upon Iman because he has uh, rejected the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he's opposed what Allah Jalla has said yeah. So the Shaykh continues. Let's just have a look how much we go. One of the two pages, inshallah. We should be able to finish. Wahadi al Ahkam Wahadi al Ahkamu Ahkamu Sharayatun Imanul Abdi Bil Kitabi wa Sunati Yastojibu and يؤمن بها وأن يعتقدها وهو جزء من من إيمانه بكتاب الله وسنة رسوله صلوات الله وسلامه عليه وتبي وتبيان هذه الأمور وتبيان هذه الأمور وتوضيحها وتوضيحها إنما يتلق يتلقى من كتابه من كتاب الله وسنة نبيه عليه الصلاة والسلام جميع هذا جميع جميع هذه الأسماء تتلقى تعرف معنيها من الكتاب وسنة المؤمن التقي البر المحسن الصادق إلى غير ذلك وكذلك أسماء أسماء الكفر والفسوق والعصيان تعرف بدلائل وشواهد الكتاب والسنة الكافر والمشرك والمنافق والمرتد وغير ذلك هذه أحكام هذه أحكام هذه أحكام الشرعية وجاء بيانها وإيضاحها في كتاب الله وسنة نبيه عليه الصلاة والسلام فمن لم يعتقد بما جاء في كتاب الله عز وجل وسنة نبيه عليه الصلاة والسلام من أحكام فإنه كافر بكتاب الله عز وجل وبسنة نبيه عليه الصلاة والسلام غَيْرُ مُؤْمِنٍ بِاللَّهِ عَزَّ وَجَلْ So then, the Shaykh, he says, and he says that these rulings, uh, is, uh, Islamic rulings from the Sharia, as in the belief of the slave, the, or the, the belief of the slave of Allah, in the book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu then this, this obligates, this is an obligation uh, that, uh, that that he or the one one believes in it, it obligates that one believes in it. The Muslim believes in in what has been said in the Quran and the Sunnah. Uh, and also, the Sheikh says it is a part of his iman in believing in the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And it's a clarification of these affairs and uh, a clarification and making clear these affairs and the shaykh says indeed all of this is taken from the book of Allah and the, the way of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam all of these names they where they're taken from they are known from with, the, with their respective meanings from the book of Allah and the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam for example he gives his examples he says for example um, the word mu'min the word attaqi the word al-bar the word al-muhsin, the word al-sadiq, and other than that, as in the believer, uh, the one who fears Allah, the one who you know is a good doer, all round good doer, and the muhsin, the one who is uh, at the peak of his iman, and the one who's on, in a, in such a state that he's always uh, uh, following the commands of Allah and doing good extra deeds and staying away from all the prohibitions of Allah uh, that Allah set Jalla and the sadiq, the, the truthful. And other than that, the shaykh says these are taken from the Quran and Sunnah. And likewise, the opposite to these, you know, the antonyms of these words, the opposite meanings of these words. For example, what we find as well, al-kufru, wal-fusuku, wal-isyanu. These words are known from, uh, 
uh, from the, uh, because of the respective evidences from the Quran and the Sunnah, words like Al-Kafir, Wal-Mushrik, Wal-Munafik as well, and Murtad. So just to repeat that, for example, uh, Al-Kufr, disbelief, Wal-Fusuk, wal Sometimes Wal-Fusuk can also mean disbelief, depending on the context we'll see later, uh, or uh, one who falls into uh, sinful actions a lot of the time and repeatedly. Also Isyan, uh, disobedience. And the Sheikh says uh, other words like uh, Wal Mushrik, as in the polytheist, uh, Munafiq, as, uh, as in the uh, hypocrite, and Al Murtad, as, as in the apostate, then these are all taken from the Quran and the Sunnah. That's where the, our evidence of these words are where? From the Quran and the Sunnah. We get our meanings from the Quran and the Sunnah. That Allah has explained this to us, and the Prophet has taught us this. And, and that, that's where the clarity is and clarification from the Quran and the book, the Quran. Uh, from the Quran, the Book of Allah, and the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So then the Shaykh says, so whoever doesn't believe, uh, uh, whoever doesn't believe that which came in the Book of Allah azza wa jal, and that which came in the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, from various rulings, for indeed by way of that, he is a disbeliever in the Book of Allah. And also a disbeliever in the in the in the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and that which the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam came with, and he is not a believer in Allah azza wa jal. This is what the Sheikh has said here in this paragraph. So then the Sheikh he goes on to say, "Qala man lam yukafir al mushrikin, ay lam yataqid kufr al mushrikin wa kufr man yabdu ghair Allah subhanahu wa taala." من المجوس واليهود والنصارى والوثنيين والملاحدة وغيرهم وغيرهم فكل هؤلاء كفار وكل هؤلاء مشركون بحكم كتاب الله عز وجل وحكم سنة نبيه صلى الله عليه وسلم وفي القرآن الكريم آيات, آيات كثيرة يقول الله عز وجل فيها الكافرون المشركون المنافقون آيات كثيرة فأولئك هم الكافرون فأولئك هم الظالمون ويكون المراد بالظلم ظلم الكفر أولئك هم الفاسقون ويراد بالفسوق الفسق الذي هو الكفر الناقل من الملة هذه أحكام هذه أحكام جاءت في القرآن إذا كان إذا كان الله يقول عنهم أولئك هم الكافرون ثم يقول قائل لا أعتقد كفرهم أو لا أو, أو لا أؤمن بكفر بكفرهم أو لا أقول بكفرهم أو ليس عندي كفار أو لا أرى ذلك أو يقول هذا الحكم أرى أنه شديد أو قاسي أو غير صحيح أو حكم غير غير مقبول أو لا أتقبل هذا الحكم أو نحو ذلك فهذا رد لحكم الله والحكم لله سبحانه وتعالى العلي الكبير وهؤلاء والهؤلاء الذين حكم الله عز وجل بكفرهم أو حكم الله عز وجل بكفرهم وحكم بكفرهم رسوله عليه الصلاة والسلام قامت بهم حقيقة الكفر التي ينتقل بها الشخص من الملة ووجد فيهم نواقض الإسلام التي ينتقل بها إيمان الشخص ولا يكون من أهل هذا الدين الذي فقامت بهم حقيقة فقامت بهم حقيقة الكفر فهم أهله وليسوا من أهل الإسلام ولا يحك ولا يحكم عليهم إلا بالكفر الذين إلا بالكفر الذي حكم الله عز وجل عليهم به وحكم عليهم به رسول الله عليه الصلاة والسلام. So then in this paragraph the sheikh goes on to say he says where the original author mentions whoever does not uh, excommunicate the polytheist, i.e., the one who, for example, says uh, that the uh, the polytheists, the mushriks, are not disbelievers like that. So the Sheikh goes on to say, he says, i.e., the one who doesn't believe uh, that the mushrik, uh, uh, who doesn't believe in the disbelief of the uh, idolaters or the polytheists, uh, uh, and uh, and doesn't believe uh, in that which Allah has ruled upon those disbelievers. For example, the Sheikh says, from the fire worshippers, uh, from the fire worshippers, the Majus, or, or, uh, and the uh, Jews and the Christians and the ones who 
worship graves and you know the polytheists in general and the atheists and other than them these are just, just a few examples just to help our understanding the Sheikh goes on to say he says all of these are disbelievers all of these groups these people are disbelievers and all of these polytheists for example <coughs> Allah has ruled uh, uh, disbelief for them that uh, Allah has ruled made a ruling that they are upon disbelief and likewise in the, what comes in the Quran and the, uh, what comes in the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa and there are many, many ayahs in this respect. And the Shaykh just brings a few uh, examples for uh, for our reference. For example, where Allah said in the Quran, فَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْكَافِرُونَ So those, they are the disbelievers. And those, they are the oppressors. And the Shaykh says that in this tafsir of this ayah, the oppression is in reference to uh, their disbelief, the kufr that they're upon. Also, أُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْفَاسِقُونَ That those are the fasikun And again, Meaning here, uh, fisk, meaning in reference to their disbelief, that which takes them out of the fold of Islam. And likewise, again, uh, another ayah, another example that Sheikh brought, the f- fourth example he brought to us, uh, those are from, uh, those, uh, those, then they are the uh, disbelievers. And, that's, and, and this is clear, the Sheikh says this is clear to us, and the examples are there from the Quran. Then the person, for example, then the person turns around and says, Oh, I don't believe. In, uh, that they're upon disbelief or I don't believe in their disbelief that they're upon disbelief or I'm not going to say that they are upon disbelief or uh, in my opinion they're not upon disbelief or I don't really see them upon disbelief and the likes of these kinds of uh, uh, statements that the people incorrectly make or for example they may say oh uh, this ruling is harsh I see that this ruling is harsh or I see that this ruling is really hard uh, quite hard uh, uh, or they say, oh no, this uh, this ruling is incorrect Or they say that this ruling is not acceptable Or they'll say the likes of, oh, I don't accept this ruling Then he says all of this is clear rejection Or uh, clear rejection for the rule of Allah Jalla uh, And is in opposition to this uh, uh, In opposition to Allah's rulings Upon the disbelievers and who disbelievers are and so by way of that, this person falls into kufr and leaves the fold of Islam. And this is what the Sheikh is saying here towards the end of this paragraph. Um, and the Sheikh says that you'll find in them uh, uh, many uh, uh, contradictions that contradict their deen, that lead them to uh, the, the nullification of their deen. So the Sheikh continues. He says, وَقَوْلُهُمْ لَمْ يُكَفِّرَ الْمُشْرِكِينَ أي كل مشرك حكم الله حكم الله زوجل كفره بكفره وحكم بكفره ورسول الله عليه الصلاه والسلام واليهود مشركون من أعمالهم إبادة غير الله والنصارى مشركون من أعمالهم إبادة غير الله يعبدون المسيح ويعبدون أم أمه مريم عليه الصلاة عليه السلام يعبدون غير الله واليهود يعبدون أزير ويقولون هو ابن الله والمجوس كذلك عبدة 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 لغير الله عبدة للنار وغيرها والمشركون أيضا عبدة لغير الله يعبدون الأصنام والأوثان والأنداد ويعبدون الموتى ويعبدون الشمس والقمر يعبدون غير الله والذي يعبد غير الله سبحانه وتعالى ويتخذ مع الله شركاء والأنداد يصرف لهم حق الله على العباد فهذا مشرك وكافر كافر بالله سبحانه وتعالى والذي حكم بكفره رب العالمين والذين حكم بكفره رسوله رسوله عليه الصلاة والسلام فمن لم يكفر المشركين فهو كافر من لم يقول بكفرهم أو لم يحكم بكفرهم أو لا يرى كفرهم فهو كافر So inshallah finish this paragraph and then we'll stop here بإذن الله تعالى So the sheikh then goes on to say so the one who doesn't, uh, for example, excommunicate the mushrikeen and, and, and doesn't uh, follow suit with what Allah Jalla wa'ala said and what the Prophet Sallallahu said where Allah has made clear that these, like the polytheists, for example, are upon disbelief, then this person person is upon disbelief themselves then because of that, because they're rejecting the Quran and the Sunnah and they're disbelieving in what the Quran and the Sunnah actually came with. So for example, that the, uh, and the Shaykh explains to us, like for example, the mushrikeen, the polytheists, clearly they worship other than Allah. The dis- they're disbelievers. The Yahud 
are also mushrikun and from because of their actions that they worship other than Allah and the Christians same thing they are mushrikun they are disbelievers they are polytheists and disbelievers because of them because of their deeds and their actions because they worship other than Allah for example the Christians they worship uh, uh, Isa alayhi salam Jesus and they worship his mom and also in terms of the Jews then they worship other than Allah as well they worship Uzair Uzair Ezra and they say oh he is the son of Allah and the Majus the fire worshippers they worship the fire and other than that so worship other than Allah and generally the Mushrikun the polytheists they worship other than Allah and they associate rivals and uh, they set up rivals and associate and associates alongside Allah and worship and they also share uh, worship with other than Allah they they share it and channel it to other places where as we know that worship is only for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so any worship that is uh, channeled elsewhere to anything else other than Allah then this is tantamount to shirk and it's uh, persons upon shirk and polytheism and so the shaykh cl clarifies this here and so the shaykh says whoever does not believe that these people who are clearly upon disbelief are not disbelievers or says for example I don't believe that they're upon disbelief or in my opinion they're not or I don't really see them that they're upon disbelief any of this leads them to becoming disbelievers themselves because the statement because of their clear opposition in uh, in terms of the rulings of the Quran and, and what's coming in the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu and what's coming in the Quran the speech of Allah Jalla wa Ala. so inshallah uh, we get, we in, we've just hit the time for Maghrib so uh, we'll have to stop here and we'll continue next week from this point inshallah subhanakullah wa bihamdik ashadu an la ilaha ila anta wa astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh